Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Was That TMI, where we tell, do you remember what it is? The whole truth, nothing but the truth. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> it's a little tipsy, I think. No, no. Just what? Kidding. Wait, start it off? Wait, what? Say it again. Where we tell the truth, the whole truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God, you added that in. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, guys. Is that not what I said? Nope. You said where we tell the whole truth, the... Oh, I was just thinking about what this... You want this in the picture? Yeah, it's always in there. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. Okay, guys, welcome back. Just going to start off by saying audio people, <clears throat> I apologize. We have spent the last fucking hour trying to figure out how to get this working. And Kelly saw the real raw, was that TMI, BTS, behind the scenes. Oh. How professional is it? I know. She needs a studio. I do. I really do. We have Kelly back We're here today. On. She's in black because she knows it makes her look skinny. <laughs> and she did her hair just like mine. Actually, was she's taken multiple pictures of me today to show to her hairstylist tomorrow. And that's Sadie, why- Sadie, you better cut off. That is why she's my best friend. But we're so happy to have you back on the pod. How have you been? Good. Good. Do you remember what we talked about last time you were on? Um, I, I don't mean, specifically, all. no. No, I have no idea. No. Um, Stuff. Me and Kelly, we don't really go online together anymore. Oh, like videos? You mean? No, like sex tapes. What? Yeah, <laughs> videos. I know. Okay, because well, you're gone it. all the time. Back to it, though, really quickly. Kelly also, I noticed, has highlighter <laughs> right here, here and here. Also Listen, from me. I'm not 19, and I can't just throw my hair back and put on some hoops and look cute. I have with makeup no on. makeup on. I you do not have makeup on. I have my self tan on. Well, it's not makeup. I'm gonna let Kelly promo this. This is Kelly's life at the moment. Kelly is the whole soul and heart of Sun Kissed by Sadie. You are. <laughs> she keeps it going. I'm trying to, yes. Super excited for today's episode. I was so excited for it that I didn't even really plan it out. We're just Shocking. firing. We're just going to wing it. We are. Like, that's what we do. Else. Yeah, because we're <laughs> fucking great. Um, if you don't know who we are, which I'm sure you all do, because we don't have any new fans here most of the time, Kelly is my mother. I was adopted at three years old. <laughs> And she has molded me to look just like her because she wanted me to feel like I had a real mom out there. You and Cooper. Yeah. Well, Cooper is my little brother who actually was adopted. He was not. But he, he wasn't. Was but Sadie convinced him that he was. We told him he was growing up. Today's first, Kelly's first time trying a noon. Yeah. They were pretty good. They yeah. don't really taste like anything, though, at all. She's not a fan. Okay. Anyways, though, main thing I was going to say is I had Kelly on like two months ago. And long, yeah. yeah, it was like over two months ago. I don't even think really anything has really changed since then with our lives other than just the self-tan launch. That was it. Pretty much. Sunkissedbystadio.com relaunches. It already did when you're watching this. So go shop. This is our new product. It's the bronzing mist. Which is awesome. Super easy to use. Yeah. Have you used it before? Yes, I have. You, she did the other day in the kitchen. I used it on my face. A lot of people, the main thing that was asked was, what's your life like? What does Kelly do all the time? Really? Yeah. Gosh. No, I'm so boring. Look how like we look. But no, I work for Sadie, so I'm busy all the time. Why do I feel like you're nervous? 20. <laughs> what am I nervous about? Guys, podcasts are weird because Kelly and I normally do drive with me's, which we still don't do anymore. But I feel like podcasting is. We need is, to do one. We, we need, need to, to do, do one, one soon. But it's that's so natural because yeah. it's just like we get in there and we just like it's easy. don't even think about. Podcast is kind of more a weirder environment. Like you're not trying to find things to talk about, but it just kind of like you know you're supposed well, to be talking. And because when you're driving, things happen. Yeah, that's true. There's so a lot going like on around So it's like stuff just comes you. up and mm -hmm. it happens and that's what kind of creates the content. This is, yeah, yeah, it's definitely more, so more like set up. Yeah. Someone said, what does Kelly do for fun? What do you like to do for fun? Mm. Just let's break the ice a little bit. Go to the beach. Yeah. I like to go to the beach. She's scared of sharks. Definitely. Scared Won't go in sharks. the water, especially on Shark Week for herself. I do go in the water, but like... Waste deep. Maybe. I told the story that we saw like a few people die out there the other day. They didn't die that we know of. Well, we don't know. Hopefully, they we didn't thought die. they did. Yeah, um, but yeah, I like to go to the beach. I like to go to concerts. 
I mean, I haven't been this year, but, but I like to go to concerts. I do not know the last time you went to a concert. Last summer, I went to see Kenny Chesney. I went to see Riley Green. When did you see Kenny Chesney? At the wharf. In the summer. Yeah. With who? Dad. Was it fun? Yeah. It was pretty That's fun. That's like oh, my dream Christine. person to see. Yeah, he was He was really good, actually. Is he married? Does he have kids? No. I don't think so. No. He never did that. No. How is he old? He's got to uh, be reaching probably 70s. Oh. Sadie. No, I feel like. I'm sure he's only, he might not even be 50. I don't know. Look it up. Really? Yeah. He didn't look good, though? I mean, I've oh. never thought he was, I think he's cute. Like, I forget he's that he's guy, always but I wouldn't shaved. be attracted to him. No. He's a Dolph. Yeah. But he's, he, remember he got married to that actress one time? He's 55. For a very short period of time. And then they got divorced and he's never really been like with anybody else. So people think. Renee yeah. Zellweger. Yeah, the Cherry Maguire girl. I've never seen her in my life. Anyway, but yes, I like to go to concerts. I know. I, here's what I try and do. I try and get Kelly to go do shit with me. And she's like, no, Sadie, what? I can't. Like, I, like what? I try to get you to come to fucking Mexico. I tell you all the time, I'll send you and your sister on a cruise. Like She forgets that I have another child. I do. I forget that Cooper's so there. I can't just go to Mexico. Co- okay, but let me... You can, because you're also married with a dad in the household. Well... You can't leave him either because you cook for him. Uh, <laughs> I do cook for him. No, honestly. Yeah, it's just not that easy to pick up and go to Mexico. I mean, so, but. No, you're right. The good thing is, though, she's in FSU almost every other weekend, but she still won't go out with me there. Well, you haven't even been yet once this season, and you're talking about coming this weekend, and there's no one there. The students are all gone, so there's nothing to do. Okay, but let's talk about every other weekend beforehand when I've been like, you should come out. And you're like, no, but you did go out with Wyatt one time. I didn't go out. He met us outside. (laughs) (laughs) We didn't go out. Yes, you did, because the next morning you called me, and I. this is Kelly's typical you know, we weren't like drunk, but like I had had a few drinks, like, but I wasn't drunk. And I'm like, mom, what is your drunk? Like Kelly's like drunk. Like she'll be like, I was not drunk. Kelly's drunk is literally like, I would be like dry heaving falling on down. the ground. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's called yeah. black. black. I think out. of it more as like having a good buzz. Yeah. Having a good buzz where you absolutely cannot drive. Correct. No, well, I don't drive at all. Anyway, well, yeah, so. but I mean like your good buzz is like a cop would walk up and know for damn sure that you're drinking. Probably. Yeah. yeah. I just want to get drunk with Cal, though. Yeah. And the only place I we feel like will she'll one do day it, when you turn 21. Right. But we can go to Mexico where it's legal. I know. But like I said, it's just not that easy to jump and go to Mexico. Cooper could come. Could put a little backpack on him. Cooper doesn't like to do shit. Yeah. That's the issue. Cooper's 13, so. He's at that age where they don't, like, yeah, like they like hormones. to just, yeah, hang out. Fuck so. off, mom. They don't Pretty actually much. say that. But when he closes the store in his bedroom, he does. Yeah. On his video games. Anyways, I didn't really know what we were going to do for this episode. And then someone threw out at the Was That TMI Instagram that Kel Bell and I should take the rice purity test and get our scores. But Kelly, it has something to do with sex. I might not answer. I don't know. I mean, get your head out of the the fucking gutter, mom. Like, jeez. I don't know what that's. I haven't taken that in so long. It's like a middle school thing, I feel like. But we're going to take it. So basically, okay. The purity test has historically served as a segu from O week to true college life at Rice. I don't even fucking know a what segue? this shit means. A segu, S E G U E. Segu. All right, go on. Do you know what it? <laughs> I'm not sure if that means a segue. If that's how it's spelled, it's a voluntarily opportunity for O week groups to bond and for. Students to track the maturate, maturation, maturation maturation of their experience throughout college. Caution, this is not a bucket list. Completion of all items on this test will likely result in death. Click on every item you have done. This is strange. Go ahead. Okay. Have you ever held hands romantically? That's where it starts off. She's like, no. Sorry. Oh, I thought you meant with you. <laughs> Held hands romantically. Have you ever been on a date, Kelly? Yes, yes. you have multiple. Yes, she was a little slut for the relationship. No, back I was in the not, days. Sadie. Just, no, 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 not a no. slut. But she was a player. I went on a date. I did go on a date. She did I go on a date. Okay, I haven't. 
been on a date. No. I've never been I know, well, because the kids don't really date today like they used to. Yeah, they don't. Like That's we true. used to. I don't think I would want to go on a date, though. Wow. Like, if a guy was like, let me take you out to dinner and, like, brought a flower, I would be like, get away, please. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, I can't do that. Different. Um, okay. Been in a relationship. Yes. One that really mattered. Okay. <laughs> Danced without leaving room for Jesus. I mean, these... That's- see, okay, so the whole point of this test is it starts off very, like slow and it gets the pussies out of the room yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and then it gets to the point where it's like okay who's really down to get dirty okay not me yeah okay wait now that i'm thinking of this this is probably not it's like if you're married you've done all of this shit oh well like had severe memory loss due to alcohol see this is like i think it's just like a middle school thing have you ever cheated no don't lie since I've been married? Well, yeah, no, no fucking shit. Oh. <laughs> and, like, she just fucking gets divorced on fucking was that TMI. Have you? Like, okay, so when you were younger. Yes. Not, <gasps> not like, cheated, but, like, maybe, you know. Yeah. I got asked that on last week's episode. And I was saying that, like, if I'm in little, like, c- scenarios with, like, guys where you don't really know what it even is. And it's, like, we're kind of both, right. like, cheating on each other. But, yes. Like, have you ever been yes. in a relationship and cheated? No. That was such fucking lie. No, I was trying to think, but no, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure I have. No. Pretty. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, we're not going to do the purity test now that I'm reading it. Oh, I mean, purity. It's... Pure. Right. That's what it means. Yeah. That's... Why rice? I guess that's the college. But it's saying, like, how pure are know. you? Who was mother? Uh, these are, like, I'm interested, and these younger girls that are watching are interested. Well, I guess you don't have to say who, but what was your first real love like? Like, what was it like when I loved someone? Like, your first real, like, you fell in love. Right. Was it dad or no? No. So, like, your first real right, love. Right, like, high school crush that you really thought you loved someone. No, like, who did you actually first love? Well, that's usually, like, your first love, isn't it? Like, the person that you actually have, like, really strong feelings for. I mean, you dated someone and in high school that you have had really strong feelings for? Same thing, yeah. <laughs> yes. Really? Well, I mean, like, I dated in high school, but, like, never really, like, felt like that. So I think of it like, so then when you break up, you really feel heartbroken. I feel okay, like that's yeah. when you know that you actually really liked that person. Okay, yeah, yeah. So. But, like, how long would it take you to get over it? Pretty quick. Same. Yeah. I'm saying, what was your first one where it didn't take pretty quick? Or did they all? Um. Yeah, they kind of all were pretty quick. <laughs> that's why my fucking heart's just, like, rock solid. <laughs> Got a dope ass mom right here. Um, well, a lot of girls were asking, like, when you're in a relationship and it's ending and you really feel like you're in love and you're young, how do you get over it? Hmm. Well, we can't give advice on that, I guess, because we're just, we can. And I think it's always individual to the situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it just kind of depends on the situation. But I think, even like I still tell you, you're still so young. Mm-hmm. Like, you have so much life to live. It's, it hurts then, but realize you're going to look back and So realize, what if it's like three years down the road and you're still tripping? But well, see, I feel like you don't really see that that often. No. Everyone thinks that. They're like, it's like yeah. that's some movie shit. Right, right. Yeah. Or that might really be someone that should be in your life. Yeah, should be in your life. That I maybe. think if it's more than like eight months with like not a lot of contact with the fucker. Yeah. And you're still like feeling your heart rippy dippy at night. That's when it's like this person might be my like, lovey-dovey. Yeah. And I also think the longer that you're with someone when you break up, the longer it takes you to get over them. Yeah, usually. absolutely. So, and I think it depends on two, since I'm asking Kelly for advice, but I'm just going to get my own, even though I don't really know how to. I think also it depends on what you're doing. Because it's like some people will be like, it's been six months and I've felt no change. All I want to be and do is be with that person and it's like okay well you've sat in your fucking room yeah you have to get yourself back out there and do things and be around other people and have new experiences and all of that yep for Mm -hmm. sure for sure yeah the other big thing that was asked was your advice to people who are in their early 20s or in that transition period of not really knowing what to do Last episode, we talked about he moved to Jupiter and stuff Mm -hmm. what would you say to people who are young and who are like not really sure of 
where they should be and just feel lost. Graduating high school, maybe not going to college yeah. or graduating yeah. college, maybe not having a job immediately. What's your try things a advice? Just do things. Try things. Don't feel like you have to follow a certain path. Okay. Don't feel like you have to do certain things because other people are doing them. Okay. Take your time. Figure out what you like, what you enjoy, what makes you happy. Yeah. Your hair looks really cute like that. I just took it down. <laughs> Um, but anyway, yes. But all it's of like that. so. Like I think a lot of it sometimes. You, the dog just yawned. Oh, why is she breathing like that? She's hot. She doesn't even look real right now. It looks like a stuffed dog. I think a lot back to like if YouTube and shit hadn't have worked out for me, and how I was just gonna do real estate. Mm -hmm. And I think about it, and I'm like, shit. Like, I feel like I probably would have been like. I'm not saying that. If your dreams don't work out or it's not what you thought it's going to be, you're going to be, like, fucked in the head. But I think, like, if I were to do something like real estate, I would feel somewhat like how I still even do with YouTube. Just, like, I'm on a completely different path than everyone else. But, like, right. sometimes you're meant to be that right. way. Yeah. Yeah. And embrace it. And just, like I said, use it as an opportunity. You have no idea where it's going to take you. But when you're young, you got to try all kinds of things. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So kind of like you say that. I'm 50 and I still don't. Still <laughs> no, don't what? Still don't like always feel like I know what my purpose is. Oh, yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I also think your purpose changes throughout your life too. Mm. So. Well, and even too, I think it's just like people get to the point of like, I mean, not to be mean, but like unless you're literally like my grandparents, for example, Muffy and Papa, not really Papa, but like Muffy, mm -hmm. like doesn't, like she is perfectly fine with living like her simple life and like doesn't need – she has a flip phone. Like, she doesn't know what's going on with right, anything else. Right. And, like, I feel like unless you're literally like that, you're always going to be looking on your phone and seeing yeah. other things. And mm -hmm. you're looking at fucking bunny breeders and thinking <laughs> that that's what you should be doing. When, like, the next day she's looking at, like, someone living in Bali and she wants to go to Bali and meet the Buddhists. Like, it's just, like, with social – I think social media is this yeah. thing. Because when you were younger, did you feel that pressure? Um, as much no, as you think people do today. No, I don't think as much as people do today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I did. I mean, I think it was, but it, but I think it was also different because I think you were a lot more limited to what, what you, you were going to do. Mm -hmm. So today it's like you can do anything you want to do, really, as cliche as that sounds. Yeah. You can do anything you want to do. You can be anyone that you want to be. <laughs> Hold on. I'm fucking extraordinary. Don't freak out. Is it in my hair? I thought it was, but it's not. No. So yeah. I think that part of it is different. And you're always seeing the good side of what someone else is doing. Right. Like sometimes I'll go online and see someone working with animals and it looks so fun. Yeah. And I'm like, I want to do that. But then I like think about it and I'm like, no, I don't. Yeah. Or it's like fucking being a movie producer. I'm like, yeah, I want to do that. I want a nine to five. And then I'm like, no, I don't. No, yeah. 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 But again, like I said, it's I harder think for girls too. I also think life is about trying different things. Yeah, no. You might think you don't want to do it, and then you might do it and be like, you know what? I actually like this. Yeah. So I think it just depends. What, on what's your what next it is. one? Do you think? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Why is that funny? I just wait and let it come to me. I guess. Yeah. So I could see you like working with like old people. No. Oh no. What's your oh? <laughs> I forget. <laughs> Ellie's mom lives no, with us. Not because of that. I I love older people and I do like to talk to them and hear their stories and all of that. But when it comes to the other stuff, I'm not good with that. Like what? Them like the care? On themselves? Yes, the care part. Well, I'm yeah. I mean, I'm not talking about like people like that are like oh. that fucking old. You know what? I'm going to clip this and store it in a flash drive. So when you're shitting your pants at 80, I play it for you and I'm like, that's why Linda, the caretaker, no, is doing it. No, Sadie, I didn't say for my own family. Oh. I just said I wouldn't, like, want to go work at the assisted living home. Like, that's not really my gig. Yeah. But I, would, I like I would like people. to be there for the good, not the bad. Just like right. what we just talked about. Right, right. Yes. It's like you see the good. I'd rather work on the farm with the animals. Yeah. The, the rescue animals. Well, you got to clean up their shit, too. I know, but it's different. Yeah. Because it's animals. Yeah, that's true. People were asking when your relationship is bad with your parents, mm. how you deal with that now being a parent. Me looking back now, if I had a bad relationship with my parents, how would I handle it? Mm. 
Um, I mean, I didn't, wouldn't say I had the greatest relationship with my parents. Mm -hmm. I don't really know. Yeah. I feel like it's just a thing where, like, you have to realize you will at one point get out of that house if it's that bad. Or just, like, you have a life that's not just theirs. And I think the other thing that I would probably try to tell someone the most is if you don't have a great relationship with your parents, don't put it on yourself. Yeah. Like, don't make yourself feel like it's because of something you're doing. I mean, unless you're doing something to create a bad relationship. But if you're not and it's just not there, don't let yourself feel like it has something to do with you. Does that make sense? No. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, it does. You know what I mean? No, like, it does. Don't feel yeah. like, oh, my gosh, I must not be doing something yeah. right or I'm not whatever. Don't feel like that because to me, I feel like the parents are parents for a reason and they should create. Yeah, the good relationship. And if they're not doing that, they're the ones I think that are kind of in making the, the mistake yeah. and not doing what they should be doing. It's not up to the child to do that. Yeah. So in a weird way, hearing you say that, it kind of makes me think of like people who like struggle with, which I don't care what you believe in, but like almost like believing in God. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, why would this, this and this happen to me if like he's there? But it's like, you can't put that on you and think about no that doesn't relate does it well somewhat it's like you can't think like wait no well and here so you know what though but that makes me think of something else when you are in like wait that makes me think of (laughs) when you're not when you're not in a situation that you feel like is right perfect or the way you see your friends relationships with their parents or people on TV, whoever it is, you could always stop and think about, okay, what can I learn from this? Yeah. What can I take out of this and make it a positive thing? Because I know from things when I was younger, I look back now and I'm like, I'm kind of glad those things happened to me because it made me be better at certain things. Yeah. Everything is building the person that you're supposed to be. And it is in a positive way. That's right. That's how I think. Yeah. Because a lot of people might think, well, I grew up with this in my life and that's why I'm like this. But it's like, no, but that's also why you're not like this. Right. So mm-hmm. pros and cons, but yeah. I like the pros. Way and the I would say, too, if that's your situation, lean on your friends or your, if you have brothers what if you and don't sisters. Have any friends? I know if you don't. Well, you should have. I mean, I'm sure you can find someone to talk to. About yeah. It. Someone. Yeah. Even if it's like a counselor at school or. No, don't send me to the counselor. Okay. <laughs> You send me to the counselors. Or a teacher. Or no, well, yeah, someone no, that you get some, along with yeah, well. You, yeah. You, you were like friends cool. with yeah. different people at school. Counselors, teachers, coaches. I didn't get along great with my counselors. Yeah. I feel like they were all against me. Yeah. But yeah. yes, no, I agree. So, that's why Yeah, I've always wanted to be like a teacher because I feel like teachers growing up, it's like it's so important. They can make such a big impression on kids' lives for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there anything that you regret doing in your younger days? Mm. You know what? Well, now when I say that I regret this, but I probably didn't completely have a choice because my grandparents lived in Canada. But I wish that I had spent more time with them and like learned more about them in their lives in their ancestry. <laughs> Fucking Christ. It all goes back to the roots. But for real. Kelly, I think I you would still have like, a membership on, ship on Ancestry.com. No, 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 it's canceled. No. Um, Treats my roots. But I hear people say that a lot. And like that resonates with me. And I'm like, I wish that I had done that. Like pick up when your parents call type thing? Yeah. Or just yes. like. Yes. Or if you have grandparents that you can see and hang out with. Oh, your grandparents. Grandparents. I thought you were saying your parents. No, my grandparents. My grandparents. Uh-huh. I feel like a fucking dick now. Because <laughs> I was about to be like, I know so much about you. <laughs> Damn. I mean, yeah. I feel like out of your three kids, not to shit on the bros, but like I do the most. Yeah. Not that it's a battle, but right, like lucky right. in my eyes it is. Yeah. No, it's not. But like I feel like I try. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a good thing. I mean, you might learn something interesting that you didn't know. And yeah. I think okay, let me ask you this. I'm actually interested. When you were growing up, was the difference in like um what's like the word to use? Advancedness in the world as strong as it is now with me and my grandparents 
Like, me trying to talk to, like, Muffy, it's like we are almost living in two different worlds. Like, right. advancement-wise. Right. Of, like, how futuristic our world is now compared to, like, what she knows. Right, Was right. Was it that much of a difference with um, you? Well, for one thing, my – well, I, I really only knew my one set of grandparents, but they were – a, a good bit older yeah. than Muffy is for you. Mm-hmm. But... It's like Gigi. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? Yeah. We had cell phones and she had no... She... It was when cell phones weren't like new, new, but they were fairly new and she had no idea how it worked. Yeah. Like that to her was just mm-hmm. bizarre. But I could really talk to her about anything. Yeah. And she would kind of engage in it. Yeah. So, um, no, I think it, that's gotten worse with technology oh yeah absolutely you know I mean? there's a bug in your hair because that is the thing is it's like it's not their fault for not knowing right but it's like it's hard because it's like you realize how much you talk about is like because of our fucking phones right right and like just knowing things yeah but okay that's oh, yeah i'm gonna call everyone tonight now <laughs> i'm just that's kidding <laughs> what age should you start trusting me what i don't trust you now (laughs) fair thoughts on me moving out someone asked um i said last episode i don't see myself moving out until honestly my little brother does because then i have to. which is five years givers 13 i think like we've talked about this before what are your actual thoughts be honest i actually for real i think it's hard because of (laughs) the industry that you're in don't call it an industry. Or whatever. The okay. business that you're in, the lifestyle that you lead. I think it's hard because you can't live alone. I can't. Or you really should not live alone. Many girls that do what I do, do. But I do agree. Yeah. There's well, a lot of well, do's. And you don't no, have I to. No, I can't. No, you fuck, don't have No, I'm not to. living alone. You don't but then I don't to. like anyone enough to live with them. And so it's hard. So I would say, you know. Stay home with mama. Yeah. Just stay Oh, well, I mean, but seriously, do you think, like, how the fuck would you hold up if I left? I mean, I would be bored, definitely. Yeah, I would be bored. <laughs> like, I would be around people like, damn, I kind of miss my mom. <laughs> you know, I used to see those things when I was, like, 13. Do you see these bugs flying out my face? I when I was, like, 13. Like, those little, this is when, like, the Instagram quotes were, like, big and stuff. And you probably had your whole Instagram full of them and people didn't even know what you looked like because it was just full of that. But I... Mom? Quotes and phrases. We got to get a screen on the porch. I would see quotes all the time and it would be like, you know, it takes time. But when you're older, it's when you realize that your real best friend is always your mom. And I remember 13 year old me was like, (laughs) fucking weirdos. And now I'm like, fuck. Yeah. They're right. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. You're welcome. Was your best friend ever your mom? (laughs) (laughs) No, but Kelly had a sister. I had a sister, yeah. That's basically your fucking twin. So she was my best friend. What's that like, getting older and having siblings that you were so close with and then you're not as much? Oh, I know. That's, okay, so going back to what I regret in life, because I just told Grandpa this when he was here this last time. Oh, God, don't get emotional. No, I'm not going to, but the one other thing is... I might. And I couldn't. I mean, it just didn't happen this way. It just didn't work out. But I wish that Colleen and I had lived closer and could have raised our kids together. Like, I, w- you know what I mean? Like, I wish we could have done that. I mean, we- shit, you still could. I still live at home. So that's do all true. of her kids. That's true. Yeah. But now they're in high school and that's when it gets kind of, everyone starts <laughs> doing their thing. Fucking <laughs> four years out, baby. No, I do get that, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. I wish wished we had been able to do that. I have this, like, feeling genuinely that Cooper is going to live with me. Yeah. In my fucking boyfriend. I have this feeling that I'm going to live with Cooper. <laughs> I'm kidding. Really? What do you think? What do you think is going to happen? I actually want your I mean, maybe so we can look back at when this. I'm For old, us. when I get really old, hopefully, if I get really old, I feel like I could see Cooper being the one that would be like, you, you need to just come and live with me. <laughs> I just want – well, yeah, maybe because he's going to be fucking single or something and a millionaire. <laughs> I Like, I don't even know what I envision for us three kids as our future. I don't either. I don't worry about it. But, yeah. like, I have 
no, no idea. idea. Wyatt's going to be working at a high school somewhere. Right. I know that for a fact because he can't deal with kids, but he'll like some of the high school people. Right. And I feel <laughs> like not to mean he's going to marry a really dumb blonde. <laughs> Like, just fuck it. I no. don't know. I don't know. No, he, no, no, no. he can't. He wouldn't be able to handle that. He's going to have someone that's shy and doesn't say much and is going to feel really threatened, which she shouldn't, but by us because we just are out the mouth anything. Yeah. But I think she'll get to know us and like us, but I think Wyatt's going to wind up with someone who's very kept to themselves. Yeah, maybe. Just know your love, babe. That's right. We do love that's you. Right. That's right. I don't know about Cooper. I don't know either. I think he honestly might be the one who's like, I don't want to find love. Right. Uh-huh. I think he might. Yeah. Because he's so f- fucking rich on his yacht with hookers <laughs> that it doesn't <laughs> even matter. <laughs> Stop. He's sending you pictures when he's like 35 and he's like trying to take a picture of the stripper in front of him, but it's really him and like his double chin. And he's like, mom, GTA in real life. <laughs> Freaking going on. Oh, no. What's, you know what's funny? I think it was like four years old. One of you guys caught Cooper playing GTA, looking at the strippers. No, he was, he had been playing GTA and someone said something about um, the strip plaza. Mm-hmm. We, were, we were talking about like a, like a Kroger shop shopping center and we called it the strip plaza. And Cooper was like, <laughs> oh, you mean the strip club? And we were like, what? And realized... He was talking about the strip club on GTA. That's terrible. But yes. It's so crazy to think about how much he's grown up. Yeah. Like I remember like little him with always, he's always had the little beer belly. No matter how little, he would have those itty bitty legs with just, mm-hmm. mom, party pizza. <laughs> party pizza. <laughs> pizza rolls. I know. He's going to be an eighth grade. So person. now to get deep and juicy, what's your worst and best hookup story? Um, oh, wow. I thought you would like completely from that. I can't even think of any off the top of my head. Honestly, I can't. Let's What's the back. hardest drug you've ever done? Oh, my gosh. No. Have you done Molly? No. I don't need. They didn't have Molly when I was a kid. Cocaine? No. That was never around when I was a kid. It really wasn't. Yeah. It Look wasn't. me in the eyes. Tell me you haven't done cocaine. It wasn't. Tell I, me you haven't done it. <laughs> Sadie. That stuff was not available. Whippets. We did whippets. Those no were terrible. No fucking way. Yeah. You guys were doing whippets? Well, like, tried them. Wow. Yeah. We would go to the mall. They had this store in the mall that sold all, like, KitchenAid or kitchen And they things. had whippets in And there, they sold undercover. those cans. And my girlfriend used to go in and buy them. And I was like, what are you doing with those? Yeah, I'm sure. That's I, what. No, I didn't. I had didn't know anything about it. Oh. I didn't know what it was. And then she showed me. And the next thing you know, Kelly's working at the KitchenAid place. No, because remember that intervention episode about the girl that was hooked on the whippets? It was mm-hmm. terrible. No. It was bad. Very bad. Anyway. Ruined your brain. Yeah, that's how um, I feel like whippets for like my age group was that like synthetic weed, like the spice. Oh, that they would sell at the convenience stores? Yeah. They yeah, still fucking I, do. I remember. I remember when um, I was I, one night, I pulled an all-nighter editing, was, went to go get a chicken biscuit, and then was driving to see the cows where we used to live. And I stopped at a gas station to get a water and it was a gas station on, um, what's the road right by Kroger where we grew up? Highway 20. Highway 20 gas station on the right, right across the street from where they're building that new like shopping yeah. center. Stop there. Old guy. He's like, yeah, you want Delta eight? Delta eight. Kept on trying to get me to buy it. Delta eight, Delta eight, which like, that's not really spice, but it's like fake weed pretty right, much. Right. But like, in my fucking face, like, like he was, like, thinking a young girl, like, the teenager who's here, that's why she wanted it. And I right. was like, oh, shit, that place is a fucking, like, yeah. little dealing spot. I don't understand how they can even sell that stuff. I don't get it. But It's like the it's Flocka. Not, it's not, like, I mean, Flocka makes you a fucking idiot. Yeah. Like, this shit's more of just whatever. But mm. um, are your boobs real? Yes. Really? Yeah. You never got it. I mean... If I went and bought these, I'd be disappointed. <laughs> no, Kelly's got big boobs. How does Kelly feel about Sadie finally having a BF? How do you feel about BF? Mm. She's never met him. I haven't met him in person, but I've talked to him on the phone. And he seems sweet. Okay, not him personally. Just your thoughts on me finally. I like seeing 
you having someone that makes you happy it makes you smile that you have fun with so Mm -hmm. i think it's cool yeah do you think i'm too young not to have a boyfriend i mean you're 19 yeah you should have not you shouldn't not that you should have a boyfriend but bitches watching you're like uh, no not that you should but i mean you should go through those experiences yes exactly yeah what if i marry him i mean then you marry him would you be like damn what the fuck I don't know. I mean, as long as it wasn't soon. Like, what if I just, like, in a month called you and was like... I would be mad, so don't do it. <laughs> We've talked about that. Uh, what was what was the lowest point of your life so far? Um, maybe after my brother died. Oh, probably. I, that's the only time I can really remember being, like, very lost. Yeah. Yeah. How does something like that, like, affect, like, you? Like, because it's obviously, like, you're sad and stuff. But, like, yeah, when you go through something like that as it is. is Well, and I think it's just weird because when you're younger. I mean, I was 17, so I wasn't that young. But it's still, like, you you don't really know how to process it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's kind of almost, too, like, I always felt bad for my parents. But I really never understood how they felt until I had my own kids. And then I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, that's, Mm -hmm. you know. So but that's probably the only time in my life that I can think that was like low. Yeah. What was like the highest, do you think? Probably after I had you and Wyatt and you guys were like growing up a little like bit. Being like human beings. In yeah. Your eyes. And I felt like I had relationships with you and then I was married and you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I felt like I was like living a real purpose at that point, I guess. Yeah. Not that I didn't after Cooper, but, it's but like, I'm just saying after no, 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 you no. It's two. like that's when you had that realization. Yeah. 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 I yeah. think I would say probably. I just thought about you when you told us that you had had, you knew the gender of the kid. Remember when I was fucking bawling my eyes out on the stairs? <laughs> Dramatic fucking day for me. I got off the bus. My tooth had came out on the bus because the kid had fucking elbowed me. And I got home and I was finally done crying. Wyatt was being so nice to me, which was shocking. Aww. And I was holding my tooth and I came home to show you that I had lost my tooth on the bus. And I was holding, and you know, I'm getting attention, so I'm loving it. And then you're like, we know the gender of the baby. And I'm like, okay. And then she's like, it's a boy. And I'm just fucking bawling like a little (laughs) bitch. Did you feel bad or were you like, she'll get over it? I probably was like, she'll get over it. Because the funny thing is why it could have cared less. No, he didn't give a shit. He didn't care what it was. I remember, I actually specifically remember one of our old neighbors, Miss Kathy, changed my mindset on it. And she goes, no, 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 listen, your little sister would want to take all of your clothes and all of your friends. And now that it's a boy, like you don't have to worry about it. I remember dad was like, he'll be knocking on your door wanting to hang out with you. And I was like, no, he won't. And that was actually the case. Yes, like, it was. Me and Cooper, I feel like yep. we're best friends. Yes. That's funny, though. Yeah. Fuck, I was about to say something else. Oh, dad told me, I remember when I was like 15, I was like, I don't want kids. And dad was like, the second that that child is in front of your face, you realize like, oh my God, this is what life's about. Yeah. Yes. That is the truth. That's so crazy. Yeah. Yep. And I think even for people that don't have kids, I think just relationships with people in general is what life is about. Yeah. You realize that when you meet certain people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Yeah. Damn. Very deep here. Yeah. Why the fuck? (laughs) I feel like I'm on a talk show. I know. (laughs) Thanks for being here. Have you seen Drew Barrymore's (laughs) talk show? She gets fucking deeper than tsunamis. Really? Yeah. Like holding hands with people and shit. Do you have any tattoos? No. Oh. No, I was supposed to get one. All right, don't pull a (laughs) you-know-who on me here. Did Sadie ever have friends that you didn't like? Oh, yes. Really? You knew that. I mean, yeah, we can't have names in it. No, we won't, but who? Not not that I didn't like her. You just didn't like her in my life. I didn't think she was a good friend to you, so I tried to help you better understand that she was not really a good friend to you. Like when we were younger or when we got older? Um, probably like, no, I knew like pretty soon after you started hanging around with her, I could tell. I started hanging out with her in like sixth grade. Six. Okay. So yeah, probably by like seventh grade. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I think again, once you're older and you've had relationships with people, you you see that a lot easier. You can kind of read people. And like I said, it's not that I don't like her because- 
I did like her. I just like you could tell what it was going to happen. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't going to be someone that you could really trust. Damn. What did you think when Sadie's job started becoming YouTube? What did I think? I don't, I mean, it was so new to me too. I didn't really know what to think. Yeah. Honestly. I remember, I think maybe I said this in the last episode, but when I was, before I had any fucking followers on YouTube, I had, we had, I had uploaded a video that probably took me like 13 hours and me and Kelly went to Old Navy and I had to take the video. <laughs> I have such a good memory, I swear to God, but this was like a traumatic experience for yeah. me. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. We get to Old Navy and you guys are like, Sadie, you got to take the video down because I had said something in it that you guys didn't want on the internet because you were like, it might affect something. these people's futures or whatever. And I was like, okay. And I remember fucking bawling my eyes out because I had already gotten the 30 views and that was I knew that was the only 30 people that were gonna watch it watched it in the first I like, kind of remember this. three hours and I did fucking delete it to take out that part and this yeah. is when you couldn't go and edit shit so I had to delete the video and I'm bawling because I spent I fucking put my heart and soul into this video this is before I got the new editing software I have yeah so like the technology and like updates on this it's so simple to add in things to where in that video it would take me two hours right, to do a simple little thing Right, because you would be looking things up how to, to try to figure yes, out how to do it I remember that. the cheap way yeah. because I had all the free shit. Right. And I had to take it down and I was bawling in this old Navy. And keep in mind, I'm like 16 years old and I'm like trying not to let you notice, but I'm like, this took me so long and fucking Kelly's mind whenever I was doing this always went to like, we need to get you in an editing class and like shit. And I'm like, no mom, I just want to be a fucking YouTuber. I don't fucking care. And I'm bawling. <laughs> and then I took her fucking phone and she texted my dad and goes, oh my God, Sadie's actually bawling, <laughs> crying over this right now. Cause I, I probably was like, what's going on? And then she goes, this is the exact text she sent. I actually think she thought this YouTube thing was going to work out. She literally said that. And that's been like this fire lit in me. And I was like, I'm fucking doing it. Right, right. But I remember reading it to you and I was like, I probably didn't so? say. No. Uh, she actually thought. I'm, it was, like, probably, I'm like reading it right now in my head. Okay. I think before. the Maybe I did. Yeah. But like it was at the time. That's what she thought. Right. She was like, what the fuck? I mean, everyone was. Right. We had no. Like, yeah, I remember no even idea. Wyatt would sometimes be like, Sadie, like, what are you doing? You're going to fucking regret this shit. Right. right. Just because it was like, and I feel like even me, like, I don't know why. Like, it's not that I knew it was going to happen, but just like something in my head was like, this is what I'm going to be able to do. Right. Well, in you're a pretty determined. Way. Yeah. 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 About everything. Yes. But, like, and, if I didn't but that's eat a good the last thing. Egg, I'm like, I fucking know I didn't. I'll prove that I didn't. Right. Yes. It's pretty so you crazy. Get that from I dad. feel like you're no, not. you get that from dad, <laughs> not me. Yeah. Yeah. But when it started working, let me just say, and even when it wasn't working, props to you guys because you guys were always supportive of it. Yeah. Like there was never, like, I mean, to a lot of people, they were like, what the fuck is your daughter doing? Yeah. I feel like. Yeah. Were there any yeah. like, side conversations going on, low key? I mean, there were, you know, I guess the part of it was because Wyatt always had the baseball stuff going on. So yeah. everything was always about Wyatt and his baseball. So you were always kind of like the, you know, well, so what does Sadie do? You know, mm. kind of thing. And we would, I would start talking about that. Oh, she does YouTube stuff. You know, mm. people were always like, really? You know, like, yeah, like and I'm what? sure they were thinking, what? Which I didn't really know a lot yeah. about it either because it really was. Was I spending a lot of time doing it? Yeah, I yes, was. You did. You did. I feel like it started off with like Cooper and Preston, who we used to live by. He's like one of my little brothers. Right. They the would go make those videos. And when I would see, they just were doing it on their own, just yes. like not editing or anything, just like the little clips of Cooper running and jumping mm-hmm. in a bush. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, guys, I'll edit these for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fucking Jesus. I'm like 15 years old hanging out with like. Cooper, who's four. Yeah. But they were, it was good because they would do anything Anything. you wanted them to do, you know? So they thought it was fun. Yeah. Gosh, that seems like so long ago now. It does. It's weird. I feel like our lives weren't boring then. Mm -hmm. Now we're fucking bored. Like, honestly, you know what? I know Colleen's not watching this. That's my mom's sister. But Colleen, as stressed out as you probably are with three kids who are all doing different shit, in a way, enjoy it. Because when you get to 
Mm-hmm. You're like, I know. Fuck. Well, and I w- just said that to her, the, or I've said it to her recently because Chris and Kate are getting their driver's licenses. And before it was always, oh my gosh, I'm having to take this one here. And, and I'm like, just wait until they can drive themselves. Yeah. You're going to wish you could drive them because mm-hmm. that does happen. You yeah. know, that's really crazy to think about. Yeah. That it is. is. Yeah. Even like our old neighbors who are now graduating high school. Like, I think about it, and I'm like, what? Or college. I know. Marta. But it's like, I'm not going to go home to the neighborhood, and, like, Bella's going to be, like, I don't know. Oh, I have school tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I know. That's this is so real life. Weird. is yeah. beginning for all of you. No, yeah. fuck that. I'll always <laughs> stay on my runaway train. I was telling my mom that the other day. I was like, I feel like nothing can really fuck me up mentally because I'm just always running from everything. Not in a bad way. Not Yeah, I wouldn't I'm say happy. you're running from everything you are just always i'm a runner you're moving you're always kind of moving can I never stay in one place too <laughs> oh i was thinking of that she's a runner she's a drag star. <laughs> <laughs> like a runaway southbound train <laughs> we can just go off how do we get such a close relationship mm. i feel like it was just like i didn't really have any friends and not to be mean but you didn't either I get it from you, though. You know what? Yeah. Our issue is it's not that we don't like people. Right. It's just that, like, I don't know. I, but yeah, yeah no, I, stay in. I, and I have always been a more of a quality over quantity. Well, yeah. Meaning, like, I'd rather have a few good friends than a lot of friends that. Yeah, well, you should be that yeah. way. So I've, I've just always kind of been very picky and choosy. But, like, do you even have? Yeah. Them? Yeah, I mean, I do. You? <laughs> Colleen. My sister. <laughs> no, but it's fucking hard. Yeah, like, it, it is. is hard. It and is. you know what? Everyone's doing their own thing, too. Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of like. Yeah, fuck. well, when you're busy and you have kids and whatever. You don't really have kids anymore. Well, I do. Cooper's in middle school. What? Cooper's your actually least amount of work <laughs> when I really <laughs> think about actually. it. Like, <laughs> he gets home and he goes to his room and he's good. Yeah. You and Wyatt still require a fair amount of attention for some oh, reason. Oh, I fucking feel bad for you. <laughs> I don't want a daughter, not to be me. No. If I have fucking all daughters, oh, if I had more house. than one daughter, I don't know. I'd be medicated. I think. Yeah, but fuck yeah. no, no, absolutely not. What if I have all daughters? I for some reason I always think about Wyatt, and I feel like he's gonna have all girls. Oh God, <laughs> he's the worst with girls. <laughs> what? Which one looks better? I don't know. That one, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have all boys in a yeah. weird way. But then maybe not. Maybe not. You never know. You never know. What did you think you were going to have? Mm, yeah. I, I don't think I really ever thought that much about it. Yeah. I, I really didn't. Did you have an instinct what your first kid was going to be when you were I pregnant? I did think it was going to be a boy. You did? Yeah. What about your second? I think dad thought for sure you were a girl. I mean, I found out when you when you could find out. So I knew. You didn't have any like fucking gender reveals and shit? No, that wasn't a thing when I... No, it definitely you. won't be a thing for me. Yeah. I'm going to have my husband go on and figure it out for me. Like, babe, you go figure it out. <laughs> what do you mean, figure what out? They're going to be like, go see what it is at the doctor. Here's my oh. pee. Do they figure out through your pee? Uh, no. They have to see... work. No, they have to see if it has a dick. Oh, well, yeah, you can see it, but they can also tell through blood work. Oh, through blood work? Yes. They can see if it's a fucking... I male? don't know. I feel like for some reason I had to have a blood test for something. And they were like, we can use Maybe this. to see if, like, it's healthy. Did you ever drink with any of your kids? Uh, no. Not at all. I mean, maybe I had a glass of wine or a beer, but no. That's really. my biggest thing is, like, I don't know if I could do nine months sober. Yes, blood test for gender accuracy. How did you go about that scenario? What's that? Nine months sober. I mean, it didn't bother me other than being around people drinking. Oh, that part is hard. No. Yeah. Hell no. Because we lived in Rivendell. Oh. So that was kind of, yeah. But the good thing was several of us got pregnant like at the same time. Yeah. So that would be nice. We, none of us could drink or anything. Yeah. I just feel like going your whole life, not your whole life drinking, but like, oh, when you're like, I feel like right before you get pregnant, that's when you're drinking the most. Yeah. And all of a sudden you have like something growing in you and you can't feed it alcohol. It's like, that's a big. 
I think that you'll see that you just don't even think about it like that at all. You really don't? No. I mean, for me, it Would wasn't you an issue. it with food? No. Huh. No. Mm-mm. I feel like I'm going to get pregnant and it's going to wind up in a fucking divorce because I can't have alcohol. Sadie. Well, because it's like. Oh, and this is why you should wait till you're like 30 to have a baby. Well, yeah. But like, don't you agree? It's like sometimes I feel like when things are high stress, if you're fighting, it's like, look, let's just both have a drink and chill out. And then you do. And I feel like everything winds up being okay. Right. You when shouldn't you're rely pregnant. on that. No, absolutely not. You never should. Right. I'm just saying like. Yeah. Look at It dad. can help a situation. He gets off work and he's like. Let's have a beer and take the edge off. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Maybe pregnant women are the reason why we should realize that we don't need that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like when you're pregnant, you have that like, I'm pregnant. I got to stay in and eat 30 brownies. So I didn't eat a lot when I was pregnant. I don't really remember eating a lot. Really? No. Mm-mm. Hmm. Maybe with Cooper. Because I was a little older by then. You had great tits after you had Wyatt. You did. Sadie, you weren't alive. Oh, I have pictures, though. <laughs> Not bare, but, like, you in the kiddie pool in the driveway with Wyatt. Oh! Yeah, I remember that. That was yeah. fun. You still do. They're great. I wonder if there's deer out there right now. Actually, one of our family members accidentally saw Kelly's tits the other day. <laughs> one, and it was, like, side boob only. That was it. It's not a big deal. Could be me. All right. What else? Anything else on there for us? Do you want to read through them? I mean, we're at 56 minutes. Is that a whole podcast? Oh, uh, we normally go about two hours. No, we go I like can't 30. even see that. You can't see my I'm, phone? Here's I mean, the I other thing wrong with phone. Unrolled, I think, is that they try and get you to buy these reading glasses at TJ Maxx because they look cute, and then all of a sudden you can't fucking see without them. I know. And then you, well, you use them and you can't see anymore. They make your eyes worse. That's what I'm saying. Having kids and being married. We talked about that. <laughs> Not lit. Self-love. Oh, Do you have that? I try and get her to all the time. Kelly's a hater on herself. She doesn't have a lot of confidence, and she knows that she's a MILF to the DILF to the <laughs> KILF. Like, Kelly no. can fucking <laughs> out-MILF any bitch just because she's cool. <laughs> And hot. But like you really can. Thanks. She needs more Thanks. she needs more confidence. In I her. don't need to go out MILF anyone. I'm married. Right? So I'm just saying, why would I be trying to do that? Wait, what? Do you know what MILF is? Yes. Yeah. No, but really, okay. you should have more confidence in you. Because I think that the reason that I am the way I am is just because you've taught me to be who I am and be okay with it. See? She's butting out of the conversation right now. She doesn't want to talk about it. I was still trying to read. You should, though, for real. I should do what? Have more confidence. I mean, I feel pretty confident. If you do, great. Yeah. I'm not saying you don't, but you should because you're awesome. Thanks, Sadie. And I feel like you're like, you go hang out with like the animals. That's Kelly's friend group over at FSU. <laughs> And yes, they're awesome. No, she does love them. And like they all fuck with you heaviest, I know. Because What? What are you talking about? They do. About? I watch the way that people look at you and oh, they fucking love you. Sadie. Oh like I always say, if you're feeling lost in life, at least you're not divorced at 50 cuz your dating pool is so shot and that's when like you're really like fuck. Not saying that being divorced at 50 is bad. It's like I would just feel really lost. Right, right. And I know that you could like Something could happen with you and dad, not that it's going to, but just if it ever did. And you would be completely fine because you're just, like, badass. And, like, any guy. Like, I know all of your fucking high school, college, any of those fuckers would see your single on Facebook and leave their fucking full-ass families Stop, and get down please. on a knee for Stop. you. Oh, my gosh. I'm being you're serious. You're not. You're not. That's funny. Same thing with Colleen. You guys yeah. are just fucking awesome. Aww. Even though you wear turtlenecks and it really pisses me off. I just had to preach it. It's we a to, New England thing. We have to realize, girls and guys, if you're listening, sometimes we have to realize our parents are still human and don't know what the fuck they're doing. 100%. Like, she, it's like we all look at our parents for advice and it's like sometimes I feel like <clears throat> Kelly's just spitting out the ass at me. Mm-hmm. Because it's like you are, you're just a human. Right, right. And like 30 years down the road, yeah, you're still going to be that way. I feel like today, like even still today at my age, I learn things from you. Yeah. Like I learn things from Cooper. Yeah. Sometimes. And it not meaning like he taught me something, but it's like if we're having a conversation about something, all of a sudden I realize and I'm like, 
oh, and I'm thinking, I wouldn't have realized that if I didn't have the conversation with him. Mm. So, yeah. like, I feel like you learn things throughout your life the mm-hmm. whole time. So you should never feel like you know everything mm-hmm. or, the, or that you or that know enough. does. I talked about yes. that the other day, too. It's like some people yeah. have people in their life and they're just like, oh, like, be careful around this person because they're this smart or they're mm-hmm. this rich or they know this much. And it's like. They still came out of a fucking vagina or, in Kelly's case, stomach, and they still shit and they still breathe. Right. And, like, no, they're no better than you. That's right. They're no different. I agree 100%. No one's fucking no. invincible. Yeah. Everyone's on the same level whether you realize it or not. Yeah. Except for God. That's right. Yeah. Sup, big man? I hope you're proud of us down here tonight. <laughs> That was an angel you sent in for us. But for real, guys, was that TMI? Thank you for listening for to another episode mom thank you for being here thank you for having me i love me you again I love so you much too. i'm gonna tuck you into bed tonight <laughs> and bring you coffee in the morning and breakfast in bed Ooh, that would be awesome just because this podcast made you me won't realize, be up before me that was absolutely fucking not i won't <laughs> were you an early bird did you like work out and no, should you have a healthy lifestyle i loved to sleep yeah i would sleep in any chance i got yeah well you still do well, well, you don't sleep in. You take the naps. Yeah. Yes. And you're in bed by eight. I like a nap. I like a little nap. Anyways, though, guys, love your mother. Yes. Love your friends. Love your family. Call your grandparents. Do Ask that. them questions. Mm-hmm. And just know that no matter how low you get in life, never buy yourself or your daughter a fucking Shih Tzu because those white dogs don't age Aww. well. You know what? She's still kind of cute. Hey, Cookie, say hi. Huh? But then watch how much of a bitch this is. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Usually she growls if Sadie tries to pick her up. Okay, well, TMI, we love you. We're so happy that you guys were here. Yeah, and send us more questions yeah. or topics. Kelly wants to see you back on. We were going to actually start a podcast together. I'll just be a guest now and again. I don't have time to do a podcast. I- Sadie, with everything else you have me doing... Okay, don't make me seem like a bitch. No, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, you have a lot going on. I know. So I have a lot going on. I don't act like it, though. I keep it together. Yes, you do. You're you're good. So are Cookie you. Cookie looks like... She's... Hold on, let me... Let me. <laughs> okay, we love you guys. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. being here. Have a good night. Bye.